Green thumbs. I complained the whole day. My parents were making me work on the neighborhood project, but I had far better things to do. I didn't understand why we were working on this place. It was just the ugly old empty lot across from Johnny's shop. It was full of wild plants, fast food wraps, old newspapers, broken glass, and every other kind of dirty trash you can imagine. As I looked at it that first morning, I thought, I bet there are snakes in there too. There were twenty of us, all ages and sizes, ready to work that day. I didn't think that we could clean up this awful mess and turn it into a garden. We were all wondering where to begin. Then, Mr. Hernandez said, The only way to do it is just to start. Then he divided the lot into four parts with string and assigned five people to each part. By lunchtime, I was hot, sweaty, and glad my dad had made me wear gloves. We filled 50 trash bags with waste and were ready to pull wild plants. As we pulled and pulled, dust filled the air and made us sneeze. At the end of the day, I had to admit the lot looked much better. That first day was the toughest. On the weekends that followed, we made rows, planted flower and vegetable seeds, and watered them. After about two weeks, I stopped complaining when I found the plants had started popping up. First, the lettuce, and then the beans and the tomatoes. They grew so fast, I couldn't believe it. The bean plants grew an inch, and the tomatoes doubled in size in just a few days. Now, two months later, I like to go there every day to see what new flowers are ready to pop up. Lots of people in the neighborhood meet there to enjoy the sights and to talk together. Tonight, it suddenly hit me. What a good thing we did. I'm proud I have been a part of it. I'm in charge of picking flowers for the nursing home on 4th Street. The vegetables will go to every kitchen in our town. But even better, an ugly and dirty lot that people didn't like has become a pretty garden for everyone.